Good morning, guys. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day today, um, Thursday. I think today is the 3rd or the 4th of November, 2020. And um, I wanted to do another video just to talk a little bit about um, some of the things I've been talking about before, which, um, which center around um, identity and knowing who you are. Um, because that that really really underpins a lot of things for me as i continue to meditate on who you are knowing who you are is a foundation for for a lot of things and um i realize that many times when we're trying to accomplish something we're trying to do something or we're trying to um accomplish a task um, people go in a number of ways one way is that they focus on the results they focus on the results of the task um, so and um, and I had this yesterday actually so I'm sharing it with you guys but I thought about it a little bit more so for example if you want to lose weight um you could focus on the result of losing weight which is i am going to lose five kg like and you're fixated on that five kg and that so you're kind of operating in the in the realm of the of your of, of the physical right uh, of the body remember we talked about i talked about man is spirit he has a mind and he lives in a body so um, sometimes when you are trying to accomplish a goal you can set a goal that is in the um, in the physical realm in in the in the realm of the physical I, I call that the body uh, really and so for example if you're trying to lose weight uh, some people start with I'm going to lose 5 kg and every morning they're jumping on the scale checking to see if they've lost 5 kg and uh, the motivation for that is very low because we are not our bodies remember we live in a body but we really are not our bodies another way people focus on is the process and that process lives in the soul realm in the mind realm so they're like i'll go to the gym five times a week or i will run uh, you know five miles uh, twice a week so they focus on the process that will get them to the goal they want to get and often um, y y y that sees a bit more uh, success but that doesn't really lead us to where we want to be instead of focusing on the result and or focusing on the process there's one area that a lot of people don't know that you can instead focus on and that is the identity your identity who you are and if you start looking at yourself and establishing your identity and saying I'm, I'm a super disciplined physically fit human being the entirety of me is I am physically fit I am strong I am healthy then your identity drives your behavior and drives your motivation and drives the process there's another area we do that and i talked about it the other time and i really it, it tied in it tied it, it ties in which is sometimes we want to manifest a particular thing and uh, say patience and you focus on i want to be patient so you focus on the results what do patient people do well um they don't raise their voices they wait when people speak so i'm going to try and do that you focus on the actions on the results and for me that that is uh just, you you just see yourself struggling um or you focus on the process right and the process could be you know what um count to 10 before you speak or you know, you focus on these things that will lead you down the path of trying to be patient. Um, there is another way. Another way is to begin to establish your identity, to think of yourself as patient. I'm patient or I'm love. You go even deeper than patience. I am love. 
I was created in the image of God. I am wonderfully and beautifully made. God is love. And because I am love, I have patience. Even if I don't exhibit patience, patience in a particular situation doesn't mean I am not patient. And once we start to see ourselves as who we truly are, then it starts to flow from inside of us. And you can forgive yourself because the fact that you did an action doesn't mean that who you are. So for example, we want to separate actions from identity. Um, you might have a child tell a lie. It's important to say, you just lied, but you are not a liar. Who you are is not a liar. So that character is, that's out of character, right? So when, when we were growing up, sometimes when you do something out of character because of who you are, right? My parents, my parents would look at me and say, where did that come from? That's not you. It doesn't come from your mom or your dad. Then where would you have seen that from? That's not who you are. So we have to really think about who we are, not about our actions, because our actions could be different from who we are. We really have to think about who we are and establish that for ourselves. And out of the abundance of knowing who we are, then the process flows, the, 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 the character flows, the results, then, then we begin to see results. And I will give you an example in my own life of, of something like this. So a few years ago, I was actually on a quest to find happiness, right? Happiness is something that a lot of people chase. And in the quest to find happiness, we could go about it in several ways. So the first thing is what makes people happy. And so you start looking at the actions. Um, I want to go to the beach or I want to have more holiday. I, you start to do the things that make people happy. You think that make people happy. You are doing the actions that you think I will call people more often or I will visit or I will hang out more often. And after a while, you get exhausted because if you go at change through results, it is not internally driven, it is externally driven, and you do get exhausted. And then you start the you, you look at the process. What are the what are the things I could do that will achieve this result, right? And you go down that rabbit hole, you're chasing all the processes like, okay, if I, if I was a friendlier person or if I laughed more or you, you, you come up with all these things that if you did them, then you would be happier, right? And then again, you realize that it's really difficult to maintain something when it's not you. And then for me, I finally got to the place where I realized you have to go deep into who are you, who are you? And for me, the realization came that I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. I am enough the way I am. And as you are, I am enough. I am content. I am who I am is completely enough for the world. And in recognizing that, then the foundations of joy and peace and happiness, you start to build those foundations. So I just wanted to challenge, challenge us to think about who we are versus what, before we start thinking about what we want to manifest. Perhaps we are already what we want to manifest. And we just need to walk in that truth. And once we walk in that truth, our minds and our bodies and our, our output, our actions will align with who we are. We have to be our truest, most authentic self. And the truth is that our truest, most authentic self is exactly who we want to be. And it's enough. 
So thank you all for listening. Please put your comments. And um, actually, a friend of mine was saying that uh, we should we should we should talk a little bit more in a private group. So I'm thinking of moving this sort of conversations to a private group because I know that there are people out there who this is not for, or they may not understand the concept of spirit, soul, and body connection, and how we talk about it from um, being really your authentic self, and um, even a lot a couple of questions around. Um, Post life, what happens post life, and from what religious background you come from versus another. Um, but frankly, this is something I think about a lot. I spend a lot of time in meditation, trying to understand who I am in alignment to who God made me, and trying to uh, trying to align my spirit with the spirit of God. The, my spirit is the little ship, aligning it with the mothership and making sure that I am completely in alignment so that I am hearing, 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 being led, being inspired by, by God or by the, 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 the spirit of God. And out of that abundance of who I am, aligning my mind to make sure my mind knows that it doesn't set it, it's not what sets the tone for who I am I tell my mind who I am and then it out of that in the abundance of that flows into the physical realm so anyway I've gone too long I just wanted to share this because that's what I was thinking about this morning um, and, um, I have a few other thoughts I was thinking about and maybe next time I'll share, perhaps tomorrow I'll share what I was reading. Um, this morning I was meditating on second Corinthians chapter four, this 16 and 17. This is my Bible and, um, just such a treasure, so much treasure in this, but next time I'll share. I want to share a little bit about that, but anyway. All right, thank you guys. Um, leave comments uh, if you think you you if this if you think you have any thoughts around um, how I how I how our identity drives who we really how we show up in the world. All right, bye guys.